Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube video. I am the Knight in Guild Wars 2, the European region, and I'm here going to show you a neat little trick you need to know if you ever want to be a very good PvP player on the competitive esports scene. What I'm going to show you is the stall and draw weapon combo. It's 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 not really a combo, it's actually a key bind, but it's a key bind to you really need to use if you want to be a good player like there is still a good uh, a difference between a good player and a very good player if you want to reach that level of very good players then you need to know this trick I'm gonna show you the thing why you need to uh, why you need to know this is because it gives you a mechanical advantage in both the one versus one and in team fights if you're talking about the one versus one a mechanical advantage, we are actually talking about baiting out dodges, baiting out cooldowns of your enemy while you can maintain your cooldowns. If you're talking about team fights, we're actually talking about more supportive uh, skills with long cooldowns like banners, MOAs, mass invises, uh, other elites which are very important like the supply crates as well. All those skills can actually be interrupted, and not only elite skills, also weapon skills, some utility skills as well. So it's very important you know, or you at least learn this trick that I'm gonna uh, show you guys. So where can I find this button? I'm, uh, button I'm speaking of. So if you press escape or you press uh, game menu right here, you go to options, you go to control options, you go all the way down and you go to store and draw weapons. Now this is very important guys, listen to me. If you are gonna use this trick, like if you wa really want to be good someday in PvP, then you should be key binding uh, this key on a very easy accessible key on your on your keyboard or on your mouse. It all depends, but it needs to be a button that you can press at any moment, at any time, like really fast. Sometimes within 0 0.25 seconds uh, of time. It's really important to have a very accessible keyboard, right? Okay, so again, if you go to game menu, you press here, you go to options, you go to control options, you go all the way down and you go to store draw weapons. You double click here and you enter your keyboard, right? Uh, be it on mouse, be it on key, uh, keyboard, mine is on A, which is right above uh, the left strafe key, right? So it's easy accessible uh, for me as well. Now, how do you perform this kind of neat trick I'm explaining to you guys? Well, basically, what it is, I'm first gonna, gonna show you. Let's say this is an ally of yours and he's down. The first thing that comes up on my mind is using the banner. Let's say I'm casting the banner, but right when I casted the banner, my ally either already got rest or he already died. So basically, I'm still casting my banner, but it's useless right now. You know those kind of situations where you just used your cool, your long cooldown skill or a cooldown skill uh, when you actually didn't need to. Well, I'm going to teach you a neat trick. Let's see. Let's revert to the example I was giving, like my mate is down, and now he just died when I casted it. As you can see, you can actually interrupt your own skills with one single button, and that's the button I just showed you. So basically, what it what it does is, if you press a skill, and after you press uh, the store slash draw weapon button, you actually put your weapon back onto your back. You actually store your weapon, but with it, you also interrupt any skill that you were casting uh, while doing so. Do know that this skill doesn't interrupt all skills. It only interrupts skills with a casting time. It only interrupts skills with a casting time and a ramp up animation. So basically pin down is one of them. Like if you, as I said earlier, if you want to use it offensively in 1 versus 1, you can bait a dodge out of your enemy by fake casting your pin down. You let your enemy show the animation of the pin down, he will dodge, and you will keep your uh, pin down for four seconds later, right? That's of that's offensively having an advantage. You you can use this with the whole longbow, by the way. It works on all longbows. It works on this one. It works on this one. 
Now team supportive again is about big cooldowns like Banner as I said if this is your ally and your your ally just died when I pressed it just press A or whatever uh, keybind you used uh, for the stow and draw weapon and you will interrupt your elite. It also works on uh, on other skills like uh, blade trail. You cast it and you can just uh, draw it back. It works on all classes, it works on all weapons, you just need to check for skills which have a ramp up animation and a skill cast time. That's really important you guys should know this. Uh, Let's see if there's anything else. Ah, there is one thing that you need to know is that this trick is actually dependent on the amount of ping you got. If you got way too much ping, your stall will be actually be delayed and your stall will actually take place after your skill worked. And that's not the case, that, that's not something we need. So if you're between the, the let's say, if you're under the 70, 75 ping, then you're in the safe area, then you're in the green zone of using this trick. But if you're constantly above it, you will notice sometimes that stalling doesn't work, or you need to be very fast, like ultra fast, like, like non-human fast to actually stall your weapon, right? So I, again, if you're under the 75 ping, then you're just in a green zone, like 80-90% of the cases your stall should be able to interrupt uh, your skills. Okay guys, hope you learned something, hope you loved my video. If you have any questions, just comment below, like, share if you can, and I will talk to you guys later. See you guys.